Can piranhas really turn a human to a skeleton in minutes? Have you ever come across a piranha fish before, except in movies? Piranhas, one of the first creatures that come to mind when it comes to danger in nature, are divided into two as carnivore and herbivore. Herbivores are known to feed on algae and freshwater plants, but what about carnivores? Do they just feed on a fish smaller than themselves or a middle-aged uncle who will give them a feast with those sharp teeth in just minutes? What people are most curious about is whether piranhas can destroy a person in minutes. What do you think? Is such a thing really possible? According to a study by American biologists in 2007, it's estimated that piranhas lived up to 25 million years ago. It was concluded that about 9 million years ago, it also moved away from its ancestors. After this divergence, the Atlantic Ocean started to rise and expand the rivers flowing in South America. Piranhas, who could not survive at this high salt level, migrated to other altitudes such as the Amazon and where fresh water is concentrated. The most distinctive features of piranhas are their large and pointed teeth. The teeth, which are attached to strong muscles or like scissors, come to a position where they're tightly clamped together when their mouths are closed. For this reason, the piranha can easily eat its prey that's much larger than itself, just like a sharp knife that cuts through a tomato perfectly in the middle. Especially piranhas roaming in groups are among the medium-sized animals living in the rivers of South America. Piranhas, an evolutionary relative of tetras known for their calmness, live in the streams and rivers of the Amazon forest covering a very large large area. The herbivore species called pachu are not aggressive. The piranhas, who maintain their existence collectively, make sounds at different frequencies with their gas sac organs while they're struggling with other fish or prey. But if a piranha grinds its teeth, that means it will never let go of its prey. Hearing this sound, the prey must go away quickly too. It's exactly like the movie Forrest Gump where Tom Hanks did wonders. Run, Forrest, run! The piranhas, made up of silver and red colors, are very attracted to their families. There are a total of 50 or 60 piranhas in their flocks who love collective life. Since this fish, which consumes only as much food as it needs, cannot withstand the smell of blood, if there is a piranha injured in the herd at the time, the whole family can eat it because of instinct. Especially when they are hungry during breeding, piranhas love to eat large winged birds that stop by to rest in fresh water and cattle that enter the water. The size of the creature they eat when they roam in a herd is never important to them, so meat is to piranhas what cheese is to mice. Let's come to the various curious question about piranhas. Can piranhas turn a person into skeleton in minutes? Piranhas can easily consume whatever carcass they encounter in their natural environment. According to an anthropological study, an invader named Francisco Pizarro in 1553 throws the Native American people who were killed in their canoes during the invasion of the Amazon region into the water and provides food for the piranhas. Approximately five minutes after being thrown into the water, it is seen that all the bodies thrown in are skeletons. After the invasion is over, the Indians leave the people who died of their own people into an iron cage in rivers filled with piranha. After five minutes, only the skeletons of the people inside the cage remain. Later, these skeletons are decorated and death ceremony occurs. Along with this 16th century tradition, the answer to the famous question has been proven. Yes, piranhas can turn a human body into a skeleton in five minutes. Keep it in your mind, every living thing in nature lives according to its own habitat and instinctive rules. Since this life is not conscious, it provides an incredible order to nature. The only living creature that can abuse this order is human. In short, as long as you go out of nowhere and no living thing messes with it, it will not break you. But even if you do something to disturb him, he'll instinctively have to protect himself and his family. So just in case your road falls into the streams of the Amazonian jungle one day, keep in mind that as long as you don't die and disturb them, you can live peacefully with the piranhas. Still, don't dip your hand in the water and try to feed them. Here, puppy, 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 piranha, come to me. Come.